We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> there he goes. Oh no, we lost one. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam and G Drive. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a mod I actually covered quite a while back, but it has been updated a lot since then. This is the 1964 Maluk. Or Malich? Maluk? I'm not really sure how to say it. It's one of those, probably. Anyway, yeah, it has been updated quite a bit, and we have a few different variants now. And because we only had the classic edition, the 126P, when this first came out, but now we have a tuned 450 horsepower edition, which is the one I have now, which is absolutely crazy. We have a rally edition, we have a drop top, we have a police variant, and we have one with uh, crash test dummies. Well, in the pictures, it's uh, it's the Stig, but the one I have just has a crash test dummies in it. So, you know, it's still like the same thing. And we also have a drop top version with the dummies in it, so it's probably fairly easy for them to fly out, and then we just have a regular tuned edition. So, I'm actually going to start off with the insane 450 horsepower just to see how fast we can get this thing going. So, three, two, one, go! Oh, we, po <laughs> we popped a wheelie. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got to almost 100 miles an hour in that very, very short distance, and we completely flattened the front of this car, and the doors just kind of, kind of, Kind of fell off. They turned into suicide doors. No pun intended. Here we go. Here we go. I love that little wheelie it pulls. That's awesome. All right, let's get some slow motion. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, you know we can't really uh, we can't really spread our legs with well, stretch our legs. I don't know. Said <laughs> spread our legs. But let's try to find somewhere on this map where we can get a little bit more speed. Like right here, for instance, because we can just go straight headlong into that wall. So let's go ahead and spawn it up right here and we should be able to hit the full speed. This thing's top speed in this distance. I'm not positive though. So let's let's give this thing as much distance as we can. So get it right back here, respawn and go. There we go. So can we get to 100? Oh, no, oh, it's kind of hard to control at fast speeds. It likes to spin or it likes to slide. That is for sure. I think that's the engine. So, yeah, not the most detailed engine in the BMG world, but this thing actually deforms a lot better than the first time I checked this mod out. It was, kind of, it was a borderline bootleg Russian mod when I first tried this thing, but it seems to be A-OK -okay now. And there we go! 100 miles an hour! Oh, shit! We missed our target! <laughs> oh, man. that That's a bummer, man. All right, so we're at the good old Nevada test range, and uh, yeah, this is going to be a better place to kind of test this thing's top speed. Like, we're packing 450 horsepower into this tiny, tiny little car, which is just crazy, and we are already at 100 miles an hour, but it does tend to uh, tend to want to swer swerve quite a bit, so you got to be very careful when you're driving this thing, especially at, at high speeds. But yeah, we're easily... Getting to 150 miles an hour. Can we please get back on the road now? That would be great. There we go. So yeah, it looks like this thing tops out at about 150 miles an hour. So let's see. If, I wonder if you can just flip this thing. Yep, you can. Just from going too far to the right or left. But yeah, that is pretty damn fast. I gotta say, 450 horsepower. Keep in mind, that's absolutely crazy. Isn't this just the most adorable little rally car you've ever seen in your entire life? Oh, I love it. I love the paint job. I love the everything. But yeah, we're on a uh, rally style track now just to see how good this thing can actually do in a serious rally environment. And I got to say, it's not doing too bad. Oh, of course, right when I say that, uh, you know, that was probably pilot error more than uh, the car. But it does. it is a little bit top heavy just because this thing is so... Shorts, it's, you know, it's kind of like a chode vehicle, if you will. It is quite top heavy, so it will, it will flip very easily. No, <laughs> shit. But the good thing is, uh, if you have a couple people standing around, it's probably fairly easy to flip this thing back over on its wheels if you do, in fact, flip over. And this thing does have a interior that you can look at. It's not the most detailed I've ever seen, but it is 
Not bad, that is for sure. It gets the job done. You know, this is a, this car when it was real. I don't actually don't know. I didn't do my research, guys. I don't know if this was an actual vehicle, but I've seen cars like it. And uh, yeah, they are usually very, very cheap, and uh, just don't have a lot of uh, don't have a lot of the big stuff on the inside. But you know, that's not why you buy. You buy because it it's cheap and it's it's tiny. I guess I don't know. But yeah, I, actually, I don't even think I would be able to fit in this car in real life, but you know, it's still, it's still an awesome car, it'd be a nice collectible, you know? Alright, so now on to what you guys probably have all been wanting to see. We're gonna crash test this thing, complete with crash test dummies on the inside. You actually can switch it to the Stig, but I think it makes more sense in the context of this video to use crash test dummies since, you know, that is what we're actually doing. But yeah, if you guys want to see more videos with this thing and you want to see the Stig, drive this thing uh let me know down below in the comments and while you're down there you should hit that like button it really helps me out but anyway we're just gonna drive all the way down to the very slowly i might add down to the end of the map and just crash f face first into this wall and i i wonder if they can actually fly out of the windshield that'd be a nice little touch but we're gonna find out any second now come on does this thing really its top speed is 80 miles actually you know that seems pretty damn quick because most of the cars this small uh, we're not very fast at all, but this thing's still getting up there. It got up to highway speeds, but anyway, here we go. Face first into the- oh! oh man. Yeah, it's- it's probably a little bit squished up in there. Oh, no. Oh, no, come on, you're- you're okay. You're okay. Yeah, they're dead. They're- they're definitely dead. The question is, is it gonna make any difference with the drop top? He's actually sitting in the back right now, which kind of sets him up to be decapitated. <laughs> so, I'm kind of curious what's gonna happen here. Look how tiny that rear view mirror is. That is not doing, that is not helping you at all, man. Jesus, that, that, that is the puniest mirror I've ever seen. Anyway, here we go. Head on collision straight into the wall. Is he gonna be decapitated though? That is the question, I'm kind of curious. Anyway, here we go. Oh, no. Not today, but this guy might have got decapitated by the his own steering wheel, which is now lodged in his neck. This is just not the, if, the you when you buy this car, you gotta realize that if you get in any sort of accident, you're you're most likely dead, especially if you're not wearing your seatbelt. Alrighty, so now we're gonna stress test the body of this thing, which I do not have a lot of faith in, with the Belez, the Belaz, as you can see, a very very heavy vehicle. So, I feel like our poor, poor dummies in here are about to get flattened beyond comprehension, but you know, let's try it anyway. And this is the 300 mile an hour, uh, blaze, but we're gonna take it very slow for this so we can see every little painful crunch of their poor dummy bodies. Anyway, here we go, come on! Okay, let's get a better camera angle for this. I wanna see every little crunch. Okay, <laughs> oh no. Oh no, okay, here we go! Yes! Yes! Okay, they're gone. <laughs> oh, that is demented. Oh man, you know, it, there isn't a lot of meaning to the car crashes in this game, but when you start adding bodies to the car accidents, it becomes a whole lot more real. I think that's an ass right there. And yeah, that is horrifying, man. They, they didn't stand a chance, but maybe, I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but maybe the drop top might actually protect them a little bit more. That doesn't make any sense, but you know, we're gonna try it anyway just because it's fun. Let's go fast this time. Just so we can get it over with, we can end their lives very swiftly and efficiently. So there we go, get back down here. We're still gonna watch in slow motion though, of course. All right, here we go. And say goodbye, prepare to meet your makers, all that, and <laughs> actually, Nope, nope, they're still dead. I was gonna say, maybe his head would get stuck between the tires and not crushed into oblivion, but there's, there's, there's a lot of tires, so you're, oh, they're gonna get it again. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, yep. Yeah, that, they are fucking dead. They're, they're ten, they're ten times over dead. There's not, not even a question. That is, there's just body parts everywhere, man. This is, this is, this is fucked up. But what if we ran into another car full of dummies? Then what would happen? Is somebody gonna fly out? That would be amazing. Anyway, here we go. Nice little head-on collision. Oh. <laughs> it seems like the guy in the back gets it the worst every time. He's apparently not wearing a seatbelt because he just, 
He just f flies into the front seat every time. But, uh, yeah, I'd say these cars held up pretty nicely. I mean, I, I want to say these guys would still be alive in there. But there is no, there is no airbag yet, which is something I've really, really wanted to see in BMG Drive because they already have the giant airbag that you can drive cars onto. But so why can't they like just dumb that down into the steering wheel of the car? That would be an awesome mod too, by the way. All right, so now we have the Sleeper Pessima, a very, very fast car, and we're just gonna drive it head on into this car full of dummies. So there we go. And come on, I want to see somebody fly out. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they're dead. So what can we do to actually get these guys to fly out of the car? Well, I have an idea, and it involves the very, very famous car jump arena. All right, so we're going to try it with the, uh, the hard top first. Well, I guess just the regular one. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure, uh, if the doors fly off, there could be a chance that they're gonna fly out. But honestly, I don't even think we're gonna be able to get up to a fast enough speed to actually make it past the hump. Which could be good or bad, but let's just see. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, no, we lost one. Oh, there's the other one. <laughs> Oh, he was hanging on for the longest time. He was hanging on so hard, but he just could <laughs> he could not hang on. The sheer force of this thing flying down this giant hill was too much. And now we just have two corpses on the road and this guy, oh, his feet are backwards and he's just all, all screwed up. And how's this guy doing? He's looking a little bit better. Still, obviously, some... Broken bones, that is for sure. Yeah, this is this is a war zone all of a sudden. God damn. Okay, so that actually worked a lot better than I thought. So let's go ahead and try it with the drop top, and it should be. You would think it would be easier for them to fly out of this one, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right, here we go. If somebody can do a crash test like this in real life, that would be amazing. All right, so oh no, we're going down. Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, there goes one. Is the other one going to fly out? I don't know. Come on, dude. Oh, I think he's like fused with the front of the car. Oh, he's getting banged. Oh, we flung him. Oh, he shot put at him. Oh my God, he got some distance on that one. Is he still going? Yes, he is sliding into the dirt, into the sand, and that is definitely broken. That foot just does not look right. Oh my God. Yeah, so the verdict is both dead. Okay, I gotta do that one more time with this uh, cinematic camera here. Just so, <laughs> just so I can see these guys flying off into the distance with a nice, nice camera here. So let's do this again. Don't crash before we get there. That'd be great. Here we go. And yes! Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> they actually haven't flown out, flown out yet. Oh wait. Oh, yep, there went one. <laughs> <laughs> There's one guy still hanging on for dear life again, or he's just fused with the car. I think that's probably the more likely thing here. Yeah, there went the engine too. Oh no, we're gonna land on the guy. Oh, <laughs> close anyway. Okay, let's uh, get a better look here. Oh my God. Oh yep, he's definitely fused with the front of the car. So again, everybody's dead. All right, so now I'm just kind of curious how far we can get with the 450 horsepower beast we have here. Obviously, it's a beast. So let's uh, let's do this, and let's let's at least try to get to 120. Come on! Uh, every time I speed up, he wants to go flying a different direction. But we did make it by, just barely, like as much as a normal car could go. <laughs> put it in. Oh! Put it in perspective for you there. But here we go. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. This thing's hard to control. Let's try it again. And right, just full speed. Let's see if we can get control of this pony. All right, there we go. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. So just keep it straight. Just don't randomly go out of control here. What happened? Why did it go silent? I have no idea. Anyway, here we go. Seriously, why is it silent out of nowhere? Yeah, not sure what that was about, but yeah, this thing made it about as far as you could expect. So. Before we end this video, let's do a little bit of police chases since we do have 
That cute little adorable police chase variant of <laughs> this car. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. All right, so we have a little police chase set up here. Um, we basically just have the guys in the in the drop top here running from the cops and for no reason I don't know where this would be taking place, but it is set up So let's go ahead and try it out. I should probably spawn up the uh, AI menu first though. All right, there we go So we're gonna set you to flee and here we go I'm actually gonna take control of the police myself just so we can take down these bastards I don't, uh, Let's just assume that they murdered somebody that makes sense and now they're or they robbed a bank and now they are running from the cops in the slowest police chase there ever was but they are wow they are actually speeding away from me come on uh why is this police car what would this police car even be useful for i have no idea but come on let's just try and take him out here oh they lost it they lost it oh you better get going man because i'm coming for that ass come on uh, <laughs> right. they spun out and i'm still too slow to even touch them are you kidding me? Okay, maybe it'll happen again and I can get a get a shot on it. Maybe they'll slow down. Oh wait, I might actually be able to do it here. Oh wait, 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 come on. Yes, there we go. Oh God damn it. What you going? Where are you going? Boom, there we go. Oh, that guy's knocked out. Yes! Come on. Oh, he's still going. Your friend is dead, man. You need to stop. Alright, I got you this time. He's going pretty slow. So oh wait, now he's pushing it. Now he's pushing it. Shit. All right, we'll try to get him on the turn here. Come on, please slow down. Please, please, please. Don't make me get out an actual police car to take you down, man. Oh, he flipped it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they lost it. There we go. That's how you take down a couple of beaches like that. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, if you want to download this mod, which I highly suggest, by the way, I will leave the link in the description below. But yeah, that'll about do it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.